All right, hello. How's it going, boys? What is up? So it's back once again for yet another character impressions. This time we have two new characters that was introduced in this flash banner. We have two dark characters for some reason, but uh, yeah, let's just go right in. So we have like a, a reimagined version of A. All right, he has 980 HP. He has 11,100 attack. Holy crap, he has a lot of H uh, attack, but no HP at all. His face, yeah, fantasy series. Okay, Phantom Impact, Massive Dark Damage to offer bonus Dark Damage Effect to Bowman. Sure. Mayhem, 2 hit Dark Damage to for Restore Caster's HP. Pass, what? Pass Caster's Hostility to a random ally? Auto activates when a foe uses a special attack. Uh huh. Wait, so. You have to target this? If not, if this only auto activates whenever a special attack happens. More strife. 3 hit dark damage to a foe. Hit to dark defense. Stackable auto activates upon normal attacks. Outrage. Dark damage to a foe with random buff to caster auto activates upon using charge attack. I mean, it's susceptible, right? Oh, you can get double strike as well. So it's either uplift, veil, or double strike. So it's 1 out of 3. But I'm pretty sure there's a weight to them, right? Like, this is probably very unlikely to appear or something. I don't know. Ego Egotistic Shadow. Skills can only be used when auto-activated. Oh! <laughs> you can manually press them? <laughs> ha! Okay. Sk uh, boost to attack, deal triple attacks, counters upon taking damage. Out from under the pressure. Uses charge attack even when charge attacks are set to hold. Boost to CA specs. So that's interesting. <laughs> I think this is the first time we've seen this mechanic. Like if we deactivate our Ogi, he'll still Ogi. That's actually kind of cool. Because I can kind of foresee like maybe in future they add more of this, right? We can like legit have a much faster full auto, right? With uh, disabling Ogi, because we only have like a set amount of characters that always Ogi, while like MC and the other, like some other character doesn't Ogi at all. So it's not too bad. Yeah, I mean I can kind of see that he just wants to punch it, I suppose. Imaginary knuckles, but this gives me the entire hand. I mean, this is someone. He just chopped off someone's hand or something, right? <laughs> this is not a glove. It's like you have to remove these fingers and this thing. Then yeah, it'll be a glove, right? This is he literally just chopped someone's hand uh, uh, hand off. This a gazish. All right, here you go. <laughs> That's not a knuckle. This is just an entire goddamn hand. The fuck. <laughs> Uh, tank counter, boost to hostility, medium amity, and medium dodge counter. Yeah, you don't need that at all. Um, okay. What do you have? His... Oh, so he has 50% echo on Ogi, which is kind of neat. Wait, how long does this last? Eh? 6.5? Holy shit! <laughs> Wow, that is long, dude! <laughs> 6.5?! <laughs> his 50% his echo lasts for 6 turns? Holy fuck! <laughs> Yo, okay. Alright, so he can't cast any of this thing manually, so all this is all automated. So he has to actually be played in full auto. Literally the full auto character. Okay, so basically, his first skill, he has... Two hits, right? So it's 265k base cap and he heals himself for 3,000. That doesn't sound too bad. That looks, that sounds pretty good actually. Yeah, actually it sounds pretty good, eh? So he will get hostility down, but he'll automatically inflict a random ally with hostility up. And then three hits is 185k. 185k damage base cap is... For 3 hits, it's not bad. And then 10%. Uh, up to 40%. Sure. Uh, 
sure. And then this one is uh, 450k base cap. So in other words, he can hit like 1 million plus on Ogi. Wait, if you think about it, he can actually be an ODK character, right? You can actually make him as an ODK character because you can put him literally in like EX plus uh, Guild War setup, right? You just go an auto base setup, but he will Ogi. So in other words, he can actually do a little bit more damage instead of just uh, full autoing, right? Because he can Ogi and then he auto nukes with this no matter what, right? So it's actually not that bad. Huh, he, 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 he's actually not too bad of a character, huh? Pretty cool. He can actually be a really solid OTK character. Yeah, he does He does his first skill and he's this one. Un unless for some reason you can't seem to hit past 50%, then yeah, this will never happen. So that, uh, uh, But seems very unlikely for that to happen, right? Yeah, you can counter one hit. How much is his counter? Oh, they didn't see how much damage he does. Oh well. His attack is Perpetuity Modifier. Yeah, that's kind of normal for, for passives like this. Yeah, it's not too bad. And then his CA specs is 30% boost to CA damage and 15% boost to CA cap. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, that's actually all right. Okay, uh, his... His EMP, okay, so he has Dark Attack up, 1 Stamina, Damage Cap, and 4 Crit. <laughs> he has 4 Crits, 1 Damage Cap, Stamina, and Dark Attack. I don't even think he needs that many Crits though. <laughs> Man, 4 Crits though? <laughs> I would actually think, you, I like, if I were to use him, right? I might probably want to go with just this tree, right? This tree is the important ones and probably max this out so he can actually be an OTK character just fine, right? Because he, he has, yeah, I mean, he has this, right? He just, he, he just straight up has this, right? He has autumn, he basically has CA specs no matter what. There's, there's no like limitations to his shit, right? So just having this, he basically has 50% CA damage, just makes him more consistent in OTK setup. And also because you don't really need this, this many crit, man. <laughs> it's like, yeah, they're additive, but like, you don't really need that many. So it's like one, two, three, four. So you have like two more, so you can just max two crits. Having two crits already is already good enough though. So it's not too bad. It's fine. Yeah, so two crits, two crits, one Ogi, and all this tree. Seems pretty good to me. Seems pretty solid. You can use, like, that, that kind of EMP, I would say, you can kind of use for, like, uh, OTK and, like, full auto stuff. Because, yeah, you really don't need a lot of... You don't really need a lot of fucking crit, man. Crit seems very, uh, excessive. You don't really need too many. Like, I mean, it sounds cool and all. If your damage is not really up to par yet, but yeah. Because it's not like you can really get like all that extra bonus damage or whatever. Because you're probably going to cap unless you're really that weak. Then yeah, maybe you might want to go with that. But even if you're, you're level, relatively low level, you still want to get Ogi damage anyway. Because that allows you to cap a lot easier rather than using crit and stuff. If you think about it, even full alt, I can, I can kind of see why his echo lasts for three, uh, 6 turns now. Because you can use any of his skills, right? The last for six turns. If you think about it, even his full auto capability is actually pretty high too, just because that he's not pressing any buttons at all. Yeah, he's not pressing any buttons, and it probably go through a lot faster as well. Damage wise, I don't think he's gonna be that bad either, because it's dark, and he has some multi hit skills as well whenever that appears, because this he'll always cast this on autos if you're full autoing him, right? So this does a lot of damage, because this is how much again? 185k base cap, right? With Echo. He can actually do quite a bit of damage in full auto, especially if... Because this one is like... You can only get this in special attack when uh, the boss does special attack, or when he Ogis, right? So... Yeah, this is actually pretty good. And, you know... you. Yeah, like I said, it's dark, right? You can get a lot of damage with dark just fine. I thought I was gonna laugh at this guy. <laughs> he turns out to be a really cool character. He has really cool mechanics as well. I would like to see more more characters with this actually. I want to see more characters with this passive. 
it'll be very very interesting to see in future i would definitely say that yeah because dark favorite guild war is gonna be probably like maybe i don't know late or like first end of the first quarter of next year or something it's gonna be relatively late right so there is a chance that he's probably going to be in the pool already for subtics so He's gonna be a relatively good pick, I guess, unless there's some other dark characters to pick later on. <laughs> but yeah, he's he looks really, really good. Good for full auto, can go all around for uh, like just does a lot of damage. But I think the only downside with him is that he doesn't really have like crazy utility. I think he's just straight up just damage. He doesn't really uh he doesn't really have that that you know like. You know, take like Magisa for example, right? He doesn't have like that very wonderful dispel, no form of delay, nothing of that sort. He only has like that uplift and maybe self veil and then double strike. So he he just straight up just do a lot of damage on his own. He's he's basically like I would say maybe at most he's kind of like literally if you do not have six yet, you could probably just use him because sounds like he can be a really really good contender for that i mean I'm, I'm just speaking it based on like if you do not have any sh any shit right he's actually really really good in that sense because if you already have the the the, the trinity or fucking dark you do not need anything else unless there's somehow there's some other new character that really power creeps that which is very unlikely to happen anytime soon yeah but he's really good though for a subtickable character, he has he has really good potential, yeah. Pretty strong. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. Pretty cool. I'd like to see more of his uh, stuff soon. I mean, he even has guaranteed triple attacks too. I would even say maybe even low level players can actually do relatively well with him because multi-hit nukes and shit. The only thing you probably need to do is just try to keep him alive. Which can be a problem. Might not really be a problem maybe because of 3k heal. But hmm. this guy is only good for Akasha. People use him instead of Leech in Akasha now. No button needed. Yeah, I can kind of see that, yeah. Yeah, that's why he says he's only good for Akasha. You're only doing that for a few turns. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. You're not really even pressing that button for, for Leech anyway. Le in, in Akasha Burst, you only press S2 for, uh, for Leech. You're using it for that debuff, so you can debuff, have a little bit more consistent damage or whatever, and have that nuke from Leech. Other than that, yeah, technically you don't really need Leech. Yeah, because this guy can actually do this. This is quite a bit of damage. And then he can counter as well, so that adds a little bit more damage there. But yeah, honestly, like, really though, I don't, I don't think he's really that bad though. Obviously, it's like, yeah, outside of the, the three main characters, usually, yeah, you can probably just ignore him. But in, like, standard standard uh, standard setup, he's really good, though. He has really good potential for just straight-up uh, auto... Like, for people that are on the weaker side of things, you can use him for OTK for even auto now, just because he can automatically Ogi as well, which is really, really cool character i think that's uh that's all i'm really gonna say about him thanks for watching i'll see you guys on the next video <laughs> okay uh-huh